Hello guys, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we will learn the styled components for React.js. We will see how we can style using the CS classes and then we will see how we can do the same styling using the styled components and then we will see how we can extend the styled components and then we will see some different components like the buttons and the input fields and we will see how we can override the rendering of different React.js components using their attributes. So let's get started. I have an empty React.js project that's showing nothing right now. So let's go ahead and add some React.js components and get them styled. So let's suppose we add an H1 and say, welcome to styled components. Save it, here you go. And to style it, what we usually do is we add a, a class name. Suppose we wanna say it's a heading and add the CSS against that. Maybe we can say its color is red and font size of maybe 16 pixels and font weight to be bold, right? If I save it, here you go. So 16 pixels, red and color and with bold font, right? So to do the same with the styled components, what we need to do is first we need to install the styled component npm that is using npm install save styled components. So let's hit it. And once that is installed, we can uh, import that. You can say styled from, that will be styled components, right? And uh, what we need to do is, we need to uh, declare the component name. Maybe we can say it's a heading and is equal to that will be style dot then uh, after the dot we need to give the name of the element that we are uh, about to render so in this case we are rendering the h1 so we will be saying style dot h1 and then uh, the back tick and in the back tick we can add the same css uh, we have already written so we can copy it and paste it here save and uh, suppose this was h1 then we can write uh, like instead of the h1 we can say heading the component name we have declared here and is we, we, we do not need to add the class name because we have added this uh, the css using the styled so here we can say h1 using styled components and we can say h1 using css class right both, both should be the same so the color is red it's bold and 16 pixel so the same here but here we are using the styled components and here we are using the uh, normal css class right and suppose uh, we have multiple headings uh, so this heading is in red color if you want to uh, add another heading which is in maybe the green color so there are two options one is that we copy this heading and uh, we can say maybe green heading and here we can say green and here copy this one and instead of the simple heading we can say the green heading save it and here you go the green heading there but uh, but this is not uh, looks right because we have to repeat every time we have to do a single change in in the in the css styling so uh, there is a concept of extending uh, the styled components so for that what we need to do is we will be saying that styled instead of the h1 we can say in the parenthesis that it is extending this heading so we are extending the style of the heading so what it will be do is it will be add all of these styles uh, in this component and then in the back tick we can override whatever we need to so we can remove this one and we are only overriding the color so now if i save it and refresh it should do the same right and if i comment this one uh, it will be extending all of these right and if i override the color it will override uh, the color into green right so this is how we can extend uh, the style components to add more styles in in that or even 
override uh, the existing styles right so using the similar pattern we can add styled components uh, for any of the react component like h1 button section anything right so let's add uh, maybe some buttons so we can say const button and it is a style dot it will be uh, the button right and after that we can add the backtick and we can say maybe color is red uh, let's save it and use here uh, we can say button styled button uh, here we can say extended extended styled component right and this is the style button right and here we can say maybe font size maybe 16 pixels save it and maybe add a padding of 3 pixels save it maybe you can add a background color as well maybe you can say sky blue and let's uh, change the border as well you can say one pixel solid and in same red color and we can add the border radius as well uh, you can say 8 pixel is enough ok right so we have styled uh, we have now a component that is styled for the button right so let's copy it and add one more again styled button right so now uh, you see uh, these are uh, there's no gap between these so let's add a uh, another comp style component maybe we can say a center div uh, which centered each of these and there is a little gap between uh, these so we can declare like const center div is again a styled uh, div component sorry it should be back tick and we can say display flex with the flex direction so here we can write uh, any uh, CSS styles that we normally write in the CSS classes. So first direction is column and justify content to be center and align items as also centered and we can give a gap of maybe 12 pixels. If I save it and here we can add this center div, cut it here and paste here, here you go. So we have added a center div uh, on top of all of these styled components and so it is styled according to the, the CSS uh, we have provided here. Also uh, you see uh, both of these are uh, using the same style. And if we want to override the style, uh, what uh, one option is that we can override uh, using an, another uh, style component and override the style here. Or the other way is uh, we can make it parameterized. So we can uh, pass the props from here and uh, uh, use inside while styling. So maybe we can say that instead of the red color, we want uh, the color to be a different one. So what we can do is we can add a uh, color from here maybe we can say it's a green color right and here uh, while we are defining the style components uh, we can say that get the props and if and get the uh, from the props get the, this color we have passed from here and if it is not passed then we will, maybe we can say it's still red right so if the uh, we are passing the color from the uh, props uh, then it will choose from there otherwise it will be red so now if i save it here you go the color is green in this case uh, when we are passing the color and if we are not passing then it is the default color we have defined here right so in this way you can pass the props uh, any prop from here and use it while defining the style components right and also uh, you see here that uh, we have both of these are buttons and uh, if we want these to be rendered some other component like 
a tag or h1 or something that we can do as well so for that what we need to do is we need to as a prop called s and here we can define uh, how, how it should be rendered so if we want to render it as an a tag we will passing as a and then if it is an a tag we can pass the href as well so here we can uh, pass the link on which it should uh, navigate so we can say https www.google.com maybe and save it there you go so if i hover on it you see there is a uh, google com here and if i click on it it will uh, navigate to the google right also we can change uh, the color or the style when user hovers on it so that is very simple so in the button what we can say is uh, do all of this styling and we can say if it is on hover uh, then maybe we can make the color to be blue right so save it and now if i hover it it changes the color to blue so this is how we can add any color like on hover do this when when it is active do this and so on so forth right also for all of these react.js components uh, we can uh, create styled components using some of their default attributes so suppose we have uh, maybe the input component and it is again style dot input and we can say uh, the attributes so for the style uh, for the input component we have an uh, attribute called type we can say type is password so whenever we will using this input it will be a password field right so here we can uh, do the css any so if if i use this input here and save it and write something inside that so it will show as a password Field, right so this is how we can uh, add any attributes or the props that are available uh, on this component and we can uh, create the styled components based on that right the best practice while defining the styled component is that you should define them outside of the component where you are using it like we have done here we have defined all of these styled components outside of the app component uh, the reason behind defining them outside of these is that uh, because whenever there will be an, any change in the app component it will re-render uh, itself so when it will be re-rendering itself if we define the style components here uh, then it will be uh, creating again and again when the app component is re-rendering so that is why it is recommended that you should not define them inside that but you should define them uh, outside, outside of that component right on that right so as a summary what uh, style component does is it creates uh, or render the h1 component or whatever we have written as, as a style dot so it will render that and it will add a unique class and give this style to that particular class right so if suppose i inspect this one and maybe this component so what it has added it is rendering the h1 whatever we have written here and then it has added a unique class name and for this particular uh, class name it is added the style that we have written here so it does the same for all of these styled components right so this is how we can create the styled component for any of the existing react.js components even we can create the styled components from any third party libraries as well so what we need to do is we can uh, we have to import that component here and then we will be saying style dot then the component name so if it is third party component so we will be naming it uh, whatever is named in that third party and then uh, we will be adding our style here and if we need to override the attributes we can override uh, like here and if we need to pass the props we can pass uh, using this way right so that's it on exploring the style components uh, for react.js so still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you